All right, guys. In the continuing uh, chicken tractor project, I'm gonna show you guys how to do a basic door frame. Um, you can scale this up to any size, depending on what you need, but I'm gonna go ahead and put this together and show you guys how to do it. It's pretty easy. Um, just use, I'm using one by three because that's what I have and it works great for uh, making a nice light, uh, simple door. But uh, you could use two by fours if you need something a little bit beefier. Um, it really all depends on what you want to use and what you need to use it for. So, all right, we'll go ahead and get started. So what I like to do is, I like to start out by attaching my pieces here and then adding corner braces just to get the basic frame together. Are you going to help there, Elkiko? Now that we've got the hardware cloth stapled on there, what we're gonna do is take all the excess over there and all the excess along here. 
and we're going to go ahead and grind all of that off. All right, just like that. Easy, simple. If you don't have a grinder, you can use any kind of like metal cutters. Uh, they'll work. It just takes a lot longer. I like the grinder. It's very quick. So now we're going to go ahead and attach the back side of our frame here. And uh, that way it's going to add some stability to the door frame. But also it's going to help sandwich in that hardware cloth. So if any of those staples do for some reason come loose, it's not just going to come apart. But it's going to have something holding it in there. And that way it will make it last a lot longer. This door is ready to be installed on our chicken tractor. So what I'm doing is putting a door stop. A door flush. So, right, right here, we put a little, I attached a board that is, attached a board there so that when the door closes, there is a stop right there with that board right there to prevent the door from totally going inside. And it stops it right there. All right. The door is complete. All right, so I've cut some supports here for the chicken tractor to go up the sides here. We're gonna go just like this. And I'll go ahead and attach it.
right guys, that takes care of the hoops and the side supports for the for the chicken tractor. So all that's left is to put the chicken wire on the front and back and we'll put the tarp over it to give the chicken tractor shelter and it'll be done, finally. All right guys, it's the next day and we're getting back to the tractor, chicken tractor build. And so I should be able to wrap it up. Uh, as you can see, I've already attached, just stapled on some hardware or some chicken wire, I should say. Chicken wire on here. I'm gonna just cut it to shape with the grinder and then zip tie it to the first hoop there. And we'll go ahead and <clears throat> repeat that process for the other side here and then on to the back. So let's get started. So if you guys watched our last video where Gloria was building the chicken track, uh, the pig shelter, and she was using the miter saw for the first time, I think we should get her on the grinder here pretty soon. Probably be pretty entertaining, and she'd learn something. Another teaching moment. And you were the student. <laughs> what?
we got the hardware or the chicken wire I'll put on there. We are ready to put the tarp on there and it'll be done. We'll have this wrapped up. Here's my tarp is not quite long enough to cover the sides here so looks like I'll have to get a bigger tarp in order to make this completely sealed in so coming soon a new tarp <laughs>